Bro, the bunker is sick, but I want to build something better. What if the bunker is able to, like, move around? Yeah, like a bunker on wheels. You should build a tiny house. You, yeah, you said, hey, watch how I move, yeah, you said. Do you really think you could build that? For sure. Put you on my feet, uh. Only wore once I wasted my cash here. Yeah. I want to start off by saying that this entire project is funded by my YouTube channel. It's amazing that I'm able to do stuff like this because of your support on my videos. So as you just saw, I've created a clothing brand called For Sure that I've been working on for a few months now. All the proceeds are going back to this channel, which allows me to create more projects like this. The website will be linked below if you guys want to support. I also want to say that I am no building expert and I've never done anything like this before. And so there was a huge learning curve that involved many YouTube tutorials. I also try to spend as little as possible on this project, but if you're unaware due to COVID, building prices are at an all time high at the moment, which which definitely increased the total for this project. And lastly, I put in my best work over these last few months, so let's get right into this. Oh, this is beautiful. We put the air condition, we made it for the church, office kind of thing, and you know, we were delivering food. So I actually did a ton of research before visiting this trailer today, and here's the rundown. So I only had 15 grand in my name, so building a tiny house from scratch would have been way out of my budget. I also did not want to renovate one of those old campers. I'd already watched a few trailer conversion videos and this was the best plan that I had. This trailer is actually worth eight to $10,000 brand new. And they only use this trailer once a year for a charity event giving food to the homeless, which meant it was still in good condition. And to make the deal even better, they already had a powerful AC unit installed and a breaker box that I could work with. I immediately put down a $200 deposit and came back in a week with 2,200 in cash to pick it up with the title. It's pretty big in here. It's, it's six by 12, yeah. For me, this is my first house. I'm gonna be living in this thing. It's just cool to see it now. The first step to any trailer conversion is the demo job. And I started off by taking off the old flooring. Next up was taking off the wall and ceiling paneling. So the last bit of demo was to take off the plywood flooring and walls to see the metal frame behind it. This is the start to the tiny house. First floor coming up. Now we got two more panels and we'll be done with the floor. All of that was done in one day, stripped to the bones. And here's how it turned out. Remember I was in a project wall, couldn't even get along. Next up was cleaning off the old frame that had lots of surface rust. I sanded down every single beam and then I applied a black rust oleum spray paint to protect the metal. So I used to weld back in shop class in high school, and now that my flooring was brand new, I decided to weld two extra metal floor studs going this way. That way when I put my wood flooring down, there was more support for it to rest on. What? How do I look? You look good, dude. Look sexy? Yeah. Clamped, we're ready to go. First weld. Just put three spot welds. Now we're gonna run a bead weld across this entire beam, okay. and make it into one piece. Ain't been the same since you left me. Kick this. Imagine it just breaks. See like my dance moves. Guess I'm a man, she took to a fan. Now we making fast moves. Today is floor day. I got a whole pile of insulation and flooring that's been cut to fit in perfectly here. So we're just gonna roll the time lapse, screwing everything together. Next up was taking out the old window. There was no way I could lock the window and also it was made of a thin, cheap material that was not insulated. window frame. So I found a new trailer window on eBay that could be locked and it was made of an insulated glass. I get racks. Louis Bay pack on my back. This is where the first major changes began. I started off by ripping off the old door because I found out it was actually rotted and I had to build an entirely new door from scratch. I then inspected the back two doors and those were also rotted. So I ripped them off. I put up three metal studs. I put a new wall there and then I added a little window. I originally was not going to paint the trailer at all, but then I had to use some white flex seal to fix some leaks on the roof. And then I was like, hey, I might as well paint the entire roof white, which would also reflect heat. After that, it looked so good, I decided to paint the body in blue. You know what I said, that's my nigga. I made him a million, now fuck it, we are rich. I ain't trying to have babies right now, so we- I just kept adding to it. So I first blacked out the bottom half of the trailer, 
I installed new fenders and painted the rims black. And then lastly, I applied a few decals for the finishing touches and it turned out amazing. There's not much time left today. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I love how it looks but I was nowhere close to being done. The interior is still just a metal frame. The next three steps took the most amount of time in this whole project. First, I had to cut and install foam board insulation throughout the entire trailer. Next up, I had to make an entire plan of where all my electrical outlets were going to be before I could put up my walls and wire it all together in the breaker box. I then cut and installed plywood walls. And then lastly, I installed a wood panel ceiling that I was going to paint. We got our rollers, we got our paint right here. Just sanded all of this wood with a belt sander and we're gonna start painting. Roll it in. I got the bag, tell a friend. Put two coats of primer, two coats of paint, finish the ceiling. You can see we already have paneling. We had this four <laughs> by eight sheet. This is a little section to show you guys, but I'm just screwing it into the walls. I still have this side to do and I'll show you guys when I'm done. We got the ceiling done, the wall paneling is done and now I have this vinyl flooring that I'll be gluing down. We started at 11 this morning, and what time is it? 10 p.m. 12 hours. A lot of time. All right, right here. Paradise, yeah, yeah. It's somewhere that I've never been before. All right, so this is the last time you're gonna see all this open space. Ceiling's done, walls are done, the floor is done. That is it for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna interior design this and finish the house. I'm currently recording this after I've just spent an entire week of time editing this video. So as of right now, the tiny house is just about finished. So expect part two in the near future. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like or comment. I try to read them all. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see y'all in the next one.